Warning, this video contains disturbing images and language. Viewer discretion is advised. In the midst of killing Chris Coffey's 34 pythons that FWC considers prohibited species, FWC officers killed a pregnant female pet boa constrictor owned by Bill McAdam. Boas are completely legal to own in Florida and are some of the most popular pets. All right, who's next? I've done most of them. No, I got it. I got it. All right, you're here. Unless you want to. Yeah. Zach? Chris? Oh, um, okay. I need to so I'm going to unlock all these. You got to just turn them all around. In the first report? Uh, not yet, but I'm going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. We, we documented the time. The FWC officers were obviously not focused as they casually discussed who was going to kill the next snake. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. We're coming in, okay? At this moment, when they pull the snake out, it would have been obvious to anyone competent in snake identification that this was a boa and not a python. The officers realize that they have made a mistake in killing the boa, but shake it off to continue their work. They place the boa in the corner of the room where it writhes on the floor for 20 minutes as they continue killing pythons. After that, the FWC officers inform Coffey of their mistake in killing McAdams' pet boa. The boa, yeah. The what? The boa. The pregnant boa. guys it is monday april 10th <clears throat> we are videotaping the necropsy of the gravid boa uh the fwc massacred last week so we want to document everything uh, my name is dr dale porche and i agreed to do the necropsy on what appears to be an adult boa constrictor grossly from the outside um, we have a large puncture that penetrates not only the skull, but goes all the way through to the ventrum through here. So a large penetrating wound, you can see it went all the way through. Um, so that's more than likely cause of death, just looking at it. Um, the body condition looks to be in pretty good condition, um, weight wise. Now we're gonna start um, and do the necropsy and look at everything on the inside. So we're just gonna open it up. Length, I would say probably seven to eight foot long. What morph is this? Are you saying? Um, I believe it's a double head red dragon, which is a really, really nice super red albino or super red sun glow. Sun glow, a form of hypo? Hypo albino. So you can see we have a lot of. Um, fat in here, which means the snake was in good condition. Uh, so, condition-wise, the snake was in good condition. Fat deposition is used for an energy source should there ever come a time where they can't find something to eat, which does not happen commonly in captivity, but happens quite frequently in the wild. So that's the way Mother Nature has figured out how to let them be able to live a long time without eating. Now, yeah, no question. Um, this female was gravid. Um, this is a little fetus and unlike a lot of snakes, um, 
boas are viviparous, which means they give a live birth. Um, pretty darn cool little baby. It would be possible to count these. That's one, there's two, three. No, are those slugs or they? Um, that they looks like good. They have a skeleton. Okay. Um, you know, my guess would probably be about a month to go. Yeah, you got quiet. This this female was loaded. Loaded with babies. Quite a big girl, so she has quite a few babies in her. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to guess just, and obviously you can count them, probably in the neighborhood between 30 and 40. I think that's pretty accurate. And I believe this animal was frozen, correct, before it came. So correct. You can feel a little bit. But they're pretty well formed. And like I say, my guess is probably a month or less of incubation time. And each one of these sacks has a baby snake in there. So I would guess, again, probably between 25. And, and this, I would guess, that would be a slug. Correct. But everything else looks pretty good with the exception of a few slugs. So she was a gravid mom and there's no question going by the penetrating wound, um, that's the cause of death and it's a gravid female. So just, I've um, been asked with trying to count how many babies and um, when they, they do give live birth, but sometimes they also give slugs. So sometimes you could say, was that going to be a viable baby or a slug? And the honest answer is it's tough to tell, but that's definitely a slug. We got one, two, three, and I'm counting slugs and babies. Four, five, one, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 35. Let's see if there's one more. One more. 36. 36 babies. Okay, and some of these animals um, obviously are showing traits of albinism. They have the pink eyes. And again, um, because they're not fully pigmented, I would say they still did have some time. And again, my guess is probably about a not another month to grow, but I'm sure that these were a couple of neat looking animals. And again, due to this being frozen, um, you go, hey, that one's got kinks. It's not, you can feel that it's the ice that is accumulated and all that, but there's albino. Would have been a nice, good looking mess of babies. That's what a slug looks like. And a slug is basically an infertile embryo or infertile ovum. Correct my terminology. Looks like um, you probably have about 50% albinos and that's depending on what the breeding was. And again, I do not know boa constrictor genetics. But albinism, I know, is recessive, just like it is in other species. Yeah, about it. These, this big stack of albinos, this is a stack of pattern. Two separate stacks, but you can see basically how many animals were lost in addition to the mom. The necropsy showed that the boa contained a large litter of 32 babies, which would have been born in about a month. Unlike most snakes, boas give birth to live young rather than lay eggs. This litter contained valuable color morphs known as red dragons and blood albinos. Aside from the monetary value of the animals, for Bill McAdam, the death of a cherished 10-year-old pet and its litter of babies is a traumatizing loss that will never be forgiven or forgotten. Please contact Governor DeSantis and tell him to hold FWC leadership accountable and also to order an immediate end to the killing of captive animals by FWC.